Hey there, guys and girls, I'm Jeff from React Team here and we are back continuing our Let's Play Victoria 2 Ultimate Mod as Germany. And guys, Jacobin Rebels have just risen up against us and I will let them win definitely, of course, so that we can become a democracy again and hopefully in an attempt to get the fascist government in power and so to then go and reverse the democratic beliefs and turn it into a fascist dictatorship. Uh, yeah, then hopefully get to leave and from everybody, which will be definitely <laughs> will be awesome to do. Um, and uh, there's one. I'm sure there's a few. Okay, they're over there. Two there, and is there any? Yes, there is there. Okay, it's good. Are we going to go to war against anybody? There's another way that I could get fascists into power, and that's to actually lose core land. But I'm not up for that. We do have a lot of core land, which is definitely good. Just not on these French places just yet. Um, so yeah, we'll have to let the Jacobin rebels win. So that we can be turned into a democracy. And hopefully from there on, go and try to push in a fascist dictatorship. Ah, yeah, but then there's the problem there. I'll lose all my cores here. Not my cores, um, sorry. All my satellites. The proletarian dictatorships and democracies and such. They got forced into a democracy quite quickly. Um, I don't know how though. But still, we definitely will let them win because we do want to get to fascism as fast as possible. So we can start Lebens roaming everybody and try and rebuild our population. Because it's quite low at the moment compared to other countries. We can look at Italy. I'm sure there's a ledger somewhere. Just getting many cores. Which is good because as we get cores, then. Oh, the atom bomb. Um, discovered the atom bomb. It, I became death, the destroyer of worlds. Allows a nuclear weapons facility. That's going to be quite scary. Um, but that. Okay, asymmetric warfare until we get that. We can't pump out those epic troops. Which is unfortunate. Got some. Oh, still got the reactionary army here trying to. Uh, what do you call the free up there? Well, whatever that is, take that over. Guatemala, Island. Um. Could, oh, I know what I'm clicking at. Whoops, mistake. Um, 9.6 million. Let's see. I want to click on the French. Many cores, guys. Too many cores. We're going to look at the Italians. They have an equivalent population to ours as well, so that's good. If we were to take them, we could have their population. Uh, Nationalist Spain, be good to have. Um, J the Japanese, they have quite a big population. The Irish don't though, um, and Belarus. But the United States does have a good uh, population amount. Would always be good to have like a high population, because I did kill, pretty much people that were in Germany. The Japanese also did that. Um, they also did because they are fascist. Um, and the AI will auto, like if it can perform a decision, it will. No matter what, it does. It disregards the disadvantages. So they ended up killing off the Japanese. I'm sorry, not the Japanese, the Chinese. So if you go and like, as you guys can see, if I'm clicking around here and you're looking at their population, it's completely Japanese. And that's because they did go and commit genocide against all of them. Um, so there's no, there's no more Chinese. No more Chinese. Completely. No more Chinese supply in that market. But, but it's okay. It's good. Also with Italy, it's, it's purely, uh, what you call it, Northern and Southern Italian. And also, if you go and you look here, as you guys can see, there's no more uh, Greek people anymore. they are all been <laughs> uh, killed off. Um, Bulgaria. I don't think Bulgaria. Wait, there's, there's one. I think it was Hungary. Yep. Only Hungarians left. Are these, yeah, the Slovaks there. Okay, so wherever there is going to be a fascist dictatorship, they're going to end up killing everybody that isn't their primary or accepted cultures. Which, it's okay to me. I'm totally chilled with it. Imagine if America, okay, with America, they pretty much, like the whole of America, they're all accepted culture, so it's okay. Um, if we go and look, we got the Texans, Yankees, Afro-Americans, Dixies, they, they're all supporters. There's probably also no more Dutch people. Yep, all Japanese. All Japanese, okay. Well, sad thing there. 
unnecessary genocide. The only genocide that was necessary was the one where we had to speed up our game. Continually getting more kills. Our special forces great. Um, if we go and look here, that is under Jacobin Rebel, so it actually has to be hold for more than a year. And then the Jacobins will win. Rebels will win. Um, I don't know if we should go and we should swap to the special forces. I am... Okay, sorry, we got disarmed. Okay, that, that is unfortunate. So we have been disarmed, so we are unable to go and start producing troops, which puts us at a vulnerability. Um, we got another place that's called... Ooh, democratic ideals, great. Um, pop militancy. See, I find that, like, okay, with democracy, everybody has free choice. Why not, if you, uh, dictatorship, you get the same thing, so decrease in militancy, but an increase in consciousness. That's what I would like to see, but there's voting now. Um, weighted, non-socialist allowed, we can go check here, we want the fascists into power. Um... Oh, see, oh, okay, so it's actually it's reset that or it hasn't updated. Let's go check if we're going to check out the population. Um, oh, okay, cool. So it, it, unfortunate, it's actually going to match that to that. Um, actually, there's less people going to vote for fascism. So, well, since everybody's got free voting now, might as well go and start putting up in the what's called most populous locations. I want this, um, this pomen. Well, else? Schleisen. I know how you pronounce it. Let's go. Let's find Schleisen. There we go. Uh, Schleisen, maybe. We've got five active. We need... How many more? Uh, Posen. We will remove from Posen. Because now everybody can vote. So... What the chance is, like, yeah, just put in the most populous, uh, what's called it? Territories. West Prussian. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hope not butchering it. Uh, let's see, West Prussian. There we go. Um, good. So now we'll have it done in our most populous places. If we can go and look, I want to check national focus mode. Get okay, spread across right there. It's not Berlin. Where's Berlin? Berlin is still our most populated one. Uh, crisis, party loyalty. It's still, we are quite fascist still when it comes to the party loyalty. And I can't believe that's only that many people. So now it's actually decreased. No, it hasn't. There we go. Um, it's back to 12 and then 15. It's like, we still want the fascist support. But then that necessarily means that people are quite content with what they have at the moment. And if their conditions are pretty poor, then they'll try to go to communism. Let's see, what research can we get? Pretty much max there. Can we go to globalization? Uh, um, cognitivitism? Uh, whatever. How uh, you pronounce it? So we got nothing here. We could go to globalization and now would definitely speed up our research points. Uh, do I want to do that? Reinforcement, postmodernism, maybe research. Okay, good. So we all head for that then. Um, it's not unfortunate. Oh, this is where I could actually now play my part to get them elected. Uh, residency, sadly, the conservatives are also residency. Uh, people that support limited citizenship gain militancy. Still gain many more cores. But I'm sure not as many though. By the time that we get all our cores, we'll be all happy. Consciousness, liberal, meetings not allowed. You know, well, everybody will just gain consciousness. If the Americans want to come on our territory, we will definitely allow them because we don't. We want to avoid conflict until we can get fascism to power. Um, what are we... Fascism is Jingoist, so yeah, we'll focus on Jingoist and try and get the fascists elected and then try and re reverse those, uh, what you call it, now the appeals reverse those issues, so we'll continue with that, um, more liberal or whole, that is far better, like the other way is actually if we lose some of our cause and I'm, I'm totally not up for that, because then we do get revanchism, which does increase like the fascist support people want to live in the old times um that's french which we do have control of um it's the, like i want to get a strong military up but we don't have that population and we are restricted for the moment being at able to build troops so until we can 
won't be able to and I think we should just go into managing our economy uh, what is okay they are protectionism we want to get our people all happy so it is set at 50 50 50 and we need to supply their needs so let's go and look at the population and check at Brandenburg since it is our most populous uh, what you call it? province province I think that works quite well and we don't want to look at cash reserves we want to look at needs. So let's see. Everybody actually has their basic needs supplied for. Well, to a point. Um, and why don't these craftsmen have? Uh, they are Protestants, which is nice. Fascists. Okay, well, they, they're fairly fascist. Well, these are actually fascist supported. Mm, I'm digging that. Unemployment, of course, because they are unemployed. Um, is As soon as it hits here, they are. Okay, that was good. As soon as it hits on this area suddenly they aren't able to purchase their goods uh, we are at the max so I am kind of finding that a bit confused unless we look here we are 8 8 at uh, it's all, all bottom I don't see why they shouldn't all be having their needs supplied for I do know that they don't have a job so but now we now we get anarcho rebels Are you serious wait maybe because I'm more democratic now um, we can get better since they are democracy as well could they no they wouldn't why not um, it can't be because of infamy relations political and in base reluctance okay that's pretty terrible for us um, what about Romania you good buddies okay good shot Romania would allow us through Ukraine we also good mates with you but they wouldn't accept why political considerations um, form an alliance potentially could that work come on could I just use that as like a bridge to get our military to walk onto your territory? Well, let's also try to get Slovakia in as well. Um, we aren't as good mates there. Uh, base reluctance. Okay, um, could we form an alliance? That that would pump it up quite a lot. So maybe I can just use alliances as a bridge of sorts to try and breach the divide uh, between the territories. See, that's why you, you need to have a bridge that's why Germany was like uh, during World War two oh no we got to get that uh, what you call it the territory that Poland has the strip or something the landing strip I don't know what it was called exactly uh, laissez-faire no we'll definitely now can we get it see that's how we do it we are ally ourselves with them we can't oh shoot they actually on that territory we have to get there fairly quickly um Slovakians come on baby Allow me on that territory. There we go. That's how we do it. I don't know the Slovakians. Oh, do they have a fascist party in? Oh, that's pretty sick. They have fascists in power. Um, I don't know why that's there. Wait, no. You don't need to deal with that. Rush and prevent them from taking the capital. Okay, now that we have that, we should... There we go. We should be able to get there. And then you, my friend, will start sorting out there. Okay, so when we do have these rebels sorted out... Our militancy is currently decreasing, which is absolutely lovely. Um, long live Germany as we gain another corn. We can focus again on trying to get the fascists in power. We're going to look at the electorate vote. Oh my gosh. Check at that. Uh, what is this? Liberals get upset or conservatives? No, liberals get upset. Oh my, look at that lovely. We are so going to get elected now. That's good. Um, we can definitely check it. I swear this this must not be updating because if we're going we actually go and look at the uh, Why does it do that to me? Ah, oh, Come on. I was like thinking oh my we've got quite a lot of fascist support. We're gonna get elected into power. Why are these people getting their needs? Lacked funds. None of you are getting your needs. That's absolutely terrible Why tell me why? Uh, I, I actually thought that this, we actually paying them through social welfare like those guys they don't have a job yet because you guys know we have to first go to the moon and then we can start opening up those factories see this guy's getting some income but not enough salary and then um, expenses so it's not actually getting any of his needs because well they are artisans so that is one way uh, moralism because I'm sure yes they are moralist 
because if we go and look all the artisans they never actually get their goods provided for but as soon as it seems to hit farmers and such they then do um, I'm guessing like if I want to I got to start focusing on the right factories we actually in fact have many unemployed wait we are communists so we have a planned economy so we can effectively manage everything and we can start subsidizing um, electronics I don't know if they, they they aren't doing well I don't think that's something that we should invest in because we are unable to get that rubber so let's close that factory down like I'm thinking communism with its planned economy can be very effective as long as I'm like constantly monitoring like we can't get the cotton no point uh, we do have these so we can get the electronic gears and all of these resources that we do have uh, which is the most profitable by the way so it is the telephones okay but lumberjack stuff there is not profitable is there anything more well these factories closed for a reason of course so might as well close them all um, so to prevent uselessness we want to be able to manage our economy to the fullest because we are oh wait we're not communist anymore but we do have communists in power so yeah planned economy as I said uh, Oh well, yeah, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, it was more of a constructive episode. Can I say that? Maybe? Okay, well, um, hope you guys did enjoy it. That's all that counts in the end. So, see you guys next time.